This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Oh, this is you. Lance! Lance! Where are you, sweetie? Oh, I'm immediately thinking of the weird lady from, uh... Uh, oh, she's cute! Never mind. Excuse me, but you are... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot about this lady. <laughs> she looks like an anime girl. About to, like, meet her true love. <laughs> oh, this is bad. He's really good looking. Ah! Stop it, Lauren! You can't let yourself fall for a playboy like him! You're in love with- Sounds like someone doesn't know the meaning of the phrase inner monologue, huh? Sorry to interrupt your conversation, but might you be a friend of Lance? Yeah, I'm Lance's girlfriend. My name is Lauren Pops. His girlfriend. <laughs> Did she just eat gum or an <laughs> umbrella? She has like the diamond ring, but it's a ring pop. <laughs> it's fantastic. I love her. That's awesome. <laughs> His girlfriend. Oh, it's not like that. We're more like friends. And um, uh, we're not lovers or anything. We, we, we haven't gotten that far yet. But I guess that's how people are going to see it. So I should just accept it. I even got this ring as a present from Lance. <gasps> <gasps> you know what she reminds me of? A cartoon character. May I inquire as to why you are here? I haven't been able to get in contact with Lance lately, and I began to get really worried. <laughs> I just realized she's got a bandage and a bruise on her arm. Oh, uh, that's pretty weird. Same arm? Uh, maybe it's the left arm, maybe? I looked everywhere for him, and then I heard about the kidnapping, so I came here. Wow, you're really strong for having made it through all this by yourself. Um, you have the same arm. Is it true? Has Lance really been kidnapped? No one is supposed to know, but yes, it's true. Never mind, it's the same band. It's one bandage. Never, oh. never mind, that could be anything. I, it looked like a bruise from one of the oh. points of view, though. Oh, Lance! Yeah, it looks like a bruise from there, but no, it's just wrapped around her arm. Yes. I can't believe you've been spirited away. I wonder how you're doing right now. Looks like she's gone back to the fair maiden and love routine. So, Mr. Edgeworth, where do we go from here? Hang on, how old is this yeah. weird chick? Lauren Pops, 19. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 19. That's a face. That is a face. Oh, wait, look at her again. Her eyebrows. Ooh. Ooh, those are some bad eyebrows. <laughs> this poor girl. Yeah. Well, we found a body, so we should look into the murder. How about calling the police? police? No, because then the weirdo's gonna be on it. Speaking of the weirdo who's gonna be on it. Oh, now there's three of them. I wonder who it could be. <laughs> My men brought me up to speed over the radio. And I have to say, you really should have called. I heard you found something very intriguing. I have nothing to hide, Agent Lane. It's exactly what you see before you. I'll take it from here. Yeah, this guy's really dead. Hey! You waiting for an invitation? Hurry up and detain the suspect now! Suspect? Who? Officer Meekins, is it? You're coming with us. What? Sir! I had nothing to do with it, sir! Agent Lane, don't you think you're being a bit rash? Do you even have a good reason to suspect Officer Meekins? Ha! I leave that kind of stuff to you prosecutors. It's your job, after all. Like I said earlier, the crime scene isn't as forgiving as your precious corporate. He That's... Is... What? He has the highest, um, conviction. Arrest rate. Conviction. Arrest arrest rate. rate. He's yeah. just like, you're arrested! You're arrested! arrested you're you're arrested. arrested! Yeah, basically. That's I've arrested 500 people to yeah, all of them uh -huh. on false charges. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter. <laughs> That's your answer. I know you like your logic and reasoning. But that sort of impractical fluff is not needed out here in the field. All you have to do is arrest suspicious person after suspicious person. That's how you eliminate crime from the streets. But that's also precisely how you unnecessarily arrest innocent people by mistake. Innocent people? Nonsense! There's no such thing as an innocent person. We've all got a blemish or two in our hearts. That's tyranny. I won't allow such a thing to go unchecked before my eyes. <laughs> Too bad you don't call the shots around here. As I have sworn to uphold the laws of this land, I cannot allow you to take this man in. That you would arrest a man on false charges without even conducting an investigation? 
Have you no honor as a member of the law enforcement? You! How dare you speak so disrespectfully to our Shifu! Hold it! <laughs> you amuse me, Mr. Prosecutor. Wayne Z says every pack has its own rules. If you can play by the rules and come out on top, that is a true victory. Alright, I'll give your beloved boss a fair shake. I'll show you just how much investigating I've done. Zero. Through my line of logic. This guy's interesting. She won't lane's logic, or lack thereof. I've seen a lot of bodies like this one being carted off in my time. I could say he was shot in a single glance, but even you figured that much out, right? With your current gun laws, it's not exactly easy to get your hands on a gun. Oh, I see how it is! <laughs> this is America, you can get guns, like, anywhere. You could go to, like, the local drugstore and be like, I want a gun, and, and they just like, give it to you, yep. no questions asked. No. <laughs> nope, that's not how that works. <laughs> not unless you're a member of law enforcement like Officer Meekins, isn't that right? So you're literally saying it had to be a policeman. He's a policeman, therefore he had to do it. This is... This is stupid. <laughs> that is your reasoning. Solid as a rock! It's based on the philosophy of detainment. Um, what's this philosophy of detainment? Ha! <laughs> you don't know? In that case, pay attention, girly. In my country, the criminals have a saying, Beware of the wolf. Why the wolf? Oh, it looks like Bad Badger's wanted for, um... Nine, nine million dollars. No, nine, nine million, nine hundred and nine dollars. <laughs> that's a lot. That's the, that's What the did he word. do? He almost killed Edgeworth. Killed the... <laughs> that's all it takes? You almost kill Edgeworth? Almost that killed Edgeworth, like... did kill the butler, and maybe <laughs> that's kidnapped a dude, and then also, like, uh, so swag. So swag. So must swag. Be, must be wanted. <laughs> Why the wolf? Because in my language, lane means wolf, and you don't mess with me or my pack. And as for the detainment philosophy, its father is my honorable ancestor, Lane Z. Hmm. You'd think I've had heard of him and his teachings if he is that famous. Lane Z developed it as he worked to lock criminals away thousands of years ago. To this day, the Zane Fa police still trains its recruits are using his philosophies. But thousands of years ago? That makes your story about as believable as a fairy tale! Hmph. <laughs> Anything wears down and breaks over time. Do you really believe something as ancient as that can be applied to today's world? Edgeworth, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's old, therefore it can't be valuable. <laughs> well, um, sometimes though, if it's like passed on, sometimes people get the wrong ideas and then it slowly changes over time. I'm not arguing with that, but he's he's literally saying, do you think something as old as that can still be applied to today's world? Sometimes, uh, but not always. Not always, but like the Bible still is absolutely 100% applicable. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And if you disagree, then you disagree. That's fine. That's fine. But it's filled with a lot of wisdom, so. <laughs> it's worth your own. You want to put it to a test? She will leave playing. That's his name. <laughs> I've seen a lot of bodies. So what can you tell me about this body? A lot! Even without an autopsy, I have my ways. They teach you the basics of forensics along with the detention philosophy. Oh? Then you wouldn't mind telling me a little of what you figured out, correct? I could say he was shot in a single glance. You had to use logic to figure that out in the first case. <laughs> yes, I think anyone who saw the bullet wounds would come to the same conclusion, although the first case uh, hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Don't pat yourself on the back yet. Oh, so these are all in the past? So it goes case two, then case three, and then case one takes place after the first, uh, two and three. Okay. What's that supposed to mean? Wayne Z says, search where the water is deepest. You have to keep your eyes on the big fish that lurks in the depths, which is the killer. There's always a bigger fish. Yep. Is that right? And what would you know about the killer? With your current gun laws, it's not exactly easy to get your hands on guns, stupid Democrats. <laughs> it would appear you've studied a little of our laws. Studied? Who needs to study what every child on any street corner already knows? They're like, I wish I had a gun, but I can't. Is that... that... Sheena! 
The Federal Firearms Re Registration Act. A um, restriction act. <laughs> B, not the voice I was thinking of. All right. I don't, I don't know. I... <laughs> That's it. The Federal Firearms Restriction Act. I hear it's not easy to get a gun these days. Interesting. That woman is the one in charge of keeping track of the information. I, I won't know her or <laughs> see her. <laughs> You're, I'm not going to have her talk again. Well, she probably won't talk for a while. If that's the case, there are plenty of other officers who might be potential suspects. You're not seriously going to arrest each and every one of them, are you? As if I would need to! I've already looked into everyone else here! Oh? Other than Officer Meekins, I know no one else's weapon has been fired. H how did you check every single person's weapon in such a short span of time? That's because each and every one of my subordinates is extremely capable. It didn't take more than a few minutes to conduct the entire investigation. The power of sheer numbers. But you have yet to check Officer Meekin's weapon, correct? Thanks for reminding me! Hey you! Show me your gun! <clears throat> flexes. <laughs> oh! What's wrong? Why does he look so sickly pale all of a sudden? Gun! What did you say? I can't hear you. Stop mumbling and spit it out already. Sir! Sir! I lost my gun, sir! How could you be so irresponsible? <laughs> In the end, it looks like you're still the only suspect we got. You're the one who waited here outside the garage to ambush and kill the victim. So you think that Officer Meekins waited here to kill the victim, do you, Elaine? I think this little accusation deserves a lot more scrutiny. Mm -hmm. Officer Meekins ambushed the victim in the garage and killed him here with his gun. Oh, he lost his gun! You mean to tell me that the murder occurred here in this garage? From the fact that the suspect was found almost next to where the body was found, I'd say that it's pretty obvious that this is where the crime scene is. Lane Z says a criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. This is slowly turning into like Sonic says look both ways before you cross the street. <laughs> Lane Z says eat your broccoli, kids. <laughs> <laughs> hey, finally a quote even I've heard of before. Furthermore, Lane Z says. <laughs> Successful investigations are the result of multiple returns to a crime scene. Looks like neither detectives nor criminals have changed their ways over the millenniums. So this is the kind of conclusion the philosophy of detainment can lead you to. I don't get it, Mr. Edgeworth. Why are you putting yourself on the line for Mr. Meekins? It's not that I particularly care about what happens to Officer Meekins. Wow, dude! Are you serious? What? What? <laughs> However, I can't simply stand by while our Agent Lane ignores our country's laws. Sheila Lane. Just what sort of investigator are you? Oh. It's probably just... It's probably the one that got added. With his gun. Oh, yeah, turn it. It's, it's a horse it, pendant? Yep, it's the victim's pendant, which is shaped like a horse. It's got a real dignified look on its face. That makes it worth all the more. Oh, no, Mr. Edgeworth! What? Did you find an important piece of evidence? This made of platinum silver! This makes this thing super valuable! I've seen this type of jewelry at a lot of stores before, so I know when, it's, when I see it! Okay, if you ever laid so much as a finger on those pieces of jewelry... What? Me? I never do something like that! Is it possible that she has never wanted to steal from a jewelry store before? The name Colin Devore is engraved here. I really admire people who carve their own names into the appendix. Oh? And why would that be? You have no imagination, Mr. Edgeworth. Did you ever think that maybe people want to have their loved ones always nearby? It's not as if I have a wedding band and I have no interest in accessorizing. Yeah. <sighs> uh, I suppose. Anyway, you know what? More than wearing flashy accessories, I'd rather be engraving my name into every treasure I could find all around the world. A sign of affection is one thing, but blatant vandalizing is just a bit different. He's got that stick face up there. It's obviously the Blue Badger Bible. <laughs> um. So we mentioned this earlier. We mentioned it earlier. Edgeworth pointed this out earlier. Oh, um... 
and... I'm gonna pull that up and said, what a big cheese I am. What? <laughs> no? Okay, let's just look through the evidence. No. Go back. Like, to the other stuff. Eight water map listed? Oh, no, that doesn't tell us anything. Badger, there's only one of each. In the park, yeah. Costume? There's two of each costume, but there's only supposed to be one badger in the park. Of each in the park. Okay. Victim shot from ABD through his shoulder. Let's look at that. Oliver Deacon, age 50, time of death, pending autopsy, cause of death, preliminary findings indicate a loss of blood resulting from a gunshot wound. Entry point the lower right abdomen, exit point the right shoulder. How the heck does that work? It goes. It would go. It would be like upwards, like. Yeah. How do you shoot it and then have it go pew like that? You aim it so it goes up through. Oh. It doesn't curve through it. Remarks, despite the fact that the fatal bullet went clean through the body, there's very little blood at the site where the body was found. Oh, then that's why. Objection! I forgot. Ooh. Already. Ooh. Unfortunately for you, Agent Lane, that is simply not possible. What do you mean? You've seen the crime scene for yourself. And while you were looking, did you not think to yourself that it was a little too clean? Ayah! So you did notice that there was too little blood. Do you still wish to claim that Officer Meekins committed the murder here? Because this isn't the crime scene. And if it was your men who led you to think it was, then I suggest you leave the case to the local police to set the record straight. <laughs> not bad! I see your logic could be just as sound as mine! In that case, let me ask you this. Don't you think it's weird that Officer was hanging out around here in the first place? Weird? How so? Hey you! Your squad's not even supposed to be in this area, right? What were you doing neglecting your duties and loafing around here? I... Don't you dare give me some lame excuse like I found myself taking a walk. But sir, I really did take a walk, sir! <laughs> You're a disgrace! How dare you take your pack obligations so lightly? Officer Meekins is looking extra meek. Is he hiding something? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, please, sir! Save me the way you did earlier, please, sir! Officer Meekins, please give us a detailed account of what happened. <laughs> sir, not you too! No, oh, that's eyes. creepy. That's creepy. Meekins' that's gonna testimony. Burn into my soul. It's true, sir. I wasn't assigned to this area, sir. Okay. I was told to check every square inch of the main gate area, sir. Which is nowhere near here. I also went looking for the kidnappers while selling dreams to the Blue Badger Mobile, sir. Selling dreams? <laughs> that sounds like the worst poem ever. <laughs> I go is around like, selling dreams. Is it like dream catchers? Where like you have the sun catchers? I think that it's go like it? I think dream candy or something or whatever. Wait, dream candy? That's only in Kingdom Hearts Three. Oh my gosh, dream candy. Dream candy boosts your. Dream Eater's link gauge all the way up. Oh boy. <laughs> but I got completely caught up in my role selling dreams to the children, sir! Before I knew it, I found myself here in this area, sir! And you hung out for a whole hour. What is this blue badger mobile? It's a moving store on wheels that sells sweet dreams and merchandise, sir! So the blue badger mobile is just a roaming souvenir shop? Oh, that's the tri speeder. The blue badger mobile data had jotted down. Yeah. Sir, I swear I was chasing the kidnappers down while I was being a good dream merchant. He seems rather worked up, even more than his usual hyperactive self. He sure seems aware of what he's saying, or sure of what he's saying. Can you try to calm down and lower your voice to a more reasonable level, officer? Sir, Roger, sir. Oh. Beacon's testimony. <laughs> it's true, sir. I wasn't assigned to this area. I will say, whatever music this is, I literally can't even hear it. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, very rarely. Alright then, where were you assigned to? Uh, I was assigned to the main gate, sir! You must mean the area with the bridge and the outrageous fountain. Okay, then why are you here in the Wild Wild West area? That's because... it's because of a very deep reason, ma'am! I was told to check every square inch of the main gate. Here. Now I think we have all those silhouettes on the bottom. We've seen all the Meekins? No. 
The silhouettes on the bottom, we have Edgeworth, Franziska, Gumshoe, uh, Shivon Lane, and K. And K. Yeah. Describe for me how you conducted your investigation. Yes, sir! Well, but first I made sure there were no suspicious looking people in the area, sir. But the only people that seemed to gather around me were little girls, sir! Well, what did you expect when you're dressed like the Blue Badger? I thought I had no choice at that point, sir, so... I also went looking for the kidnappers while selling dreams of the Blue Badger movie. Okay. What exactly do you mean by selling dreams? Sir, the Blue Badger Mobile is where dreams are collected! Um, what? Sweetness like you've never known except in dreams, ma'am! Like, innocence drops! And bitterness found only in nightmares, ma'am, like guilty jobbers! Selling those as I pushed the Blue Badger Mobile along this is my swarm duty, ma'am! So it is candy. It is candy, okay. Hold it! I must say, Meekins didn't have to come back this much. No, he came back how many times? This is just the second time he came back. No, he came back two other times. Once. He appeared in Rise from the Ashes, he reappeared for the first time uh -huh. in Tournament Succession, and now he re returned oh, again okay, here. okay, so he's been here three times. Yeah. You completely forgot to look for the kidnappers? No, sir! Of course not, sir! I, I would never do something like that, sir! Um, you're absolutely right! Wow, you're good at this forcing people to confess thing, Mr. Edward! To be frank, I'm just a little man, sir! I'm better at selling kids with a few small dreams than looking for a big crook, sir! Enough wallowing in your own self-pity. Let's return to your testimony. Yes, sir! Before I knew it, I found myself here in this area. You were knocked out. How did you wind up all the way over here? I was in the middle of a sea of kids, sir! But one of the kids decided to challenge me to a fight, sir! <laughs> I had to run away from the child's painful drop kids, except before I knew it. Was this kid's name Turtle by any chance? Turtle? Oh, that's right, you didn't read West of did you? No. Ah! Oh, you should, it's a great book. Okay. There's a girl There's... in that named Turtle who's like kind of a brat. Oh, that sounds fun. She's got like a braid and she kicks people in the shin. Oh, that sounds great! <laughs> uh, question, I have one thing I want to do. Yes. Check the Blue Badger Bible. The Bible of the Blue Badgers. Uh-huh. The Blue Badger, now I have justice who keeps the peace! The Proto Badger, the very first Badger. <laughs> he, he I was checking first. to see if his costume was wrong, but he had the right head. Or vice versa. Oh. No, he, had the, he has the right costume. Okay. Because if he had the wrong one... That, no, I thought, no, that's a good I idea. maybe he got ambushed and then, like, they took his oh. hat and then he put on the wrong head. <laughs> <laughs> the good old drop kick. I dished a fair share of those out when I was a kid. It was always the best when you felt one really connect with your opponent. In any case, you wound up here for a reason completely unrelated to the investigation. Sir! That's right, sir! That's not something you should be admitting to with your head held high, officer. Sounds like he simply forgot about his real job and became the Blue Badger. However, there is one flaw in Officer Meekin's story. But I have the feeling that he'll need some prodding before he'll spill the beans. Alright, so do you see the area? Well, it's probably... no. No. Probably there. Bam. I'm not really sure. I think it's this statement. If memory serves, I think it's Let this statement. Let me read the Blue Badger. Uh, mobile shop on three wheels was parked inside the Wild West area garage. I wonder why. <laughs> Is it broken? It's not broken, no. Do you have to park on the specific spot for your costume? Uh, yeah, I think so. That's the Proto Badger, nope. I think. Proto Badger has all black eyes. Oh, that's terrifying. Yeah, it is. I think it's Blue Badger Mobile. Objection! Nope. Officer Meekins, your statement contradicts this piece of evidence. Sir! Permission to say that I don't think it does, sir! Ha <laughs> ha! It's not looking good for you when even the culprit's down to you, Mr. Prosecutor. Yeah. He must be lying, or there wouldn't be that unnatural spot in his testimony. I just have to present some evidence to prove my point. Maybe it's this one? Objection! No? no? I thought it was because there's no, like, tracks. It was raining earlier. Oh. But there were no tracks. That would make sense. 
This is what happens when we play a game that I'm not that familiar with. Um, it's been so long since I played. That's because I'm not smart figuring this out. Is the blue badger supposed to be the hero? Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's this one. Objection! Okay, I don't know why, but maybe this is where it talks about the tracks? Officer Meekins, I would appreciate it if you didn't tell such transparent lies. <laughs> sir! I'm lying, sir! Yes, you are. If you were really out there selling dreams with the Blue Badger Mobile until recently, then what is it doing here inside the garage? Wait, that's it? <laughs> that's it? Okay. I thought it was like he drove it there and parked it. Yeah. <laughs> this is like one movie like Sister Bikini was like, oh, the tracks. They're that, that is what I remember. I remember this game being like really hard because it's really, really, really basic stuff. And like, I'm like, I, I, thought, I just assumed it? that that was part of it. That's because the other games, it's like super overthinking. Also, can we take a moment to appreciate how weird this face looks? <laughs> Actually, I just lost track, sir. Lost track of what? By the time I realized it, the Blue Badger Mobile was nowhere to be found, sir. Which would mean it was perhaps stolen. How fast and, and is it? Th that's when I came back to this area thinking maybe it was in the garage, sir. But that's when you found me, Mr. Edgeworth, sir. A likely story. Who do you think we're going to buy such a convenient tale as that? And what exactly is so convenient about his story? The car getting stolen? It's completely unbelievable, even for a cover story. But I think we can assume that the car was used already. To move the dead body. But what? You killed the victim at some distant location, Officer Meekins. And then you used the Blue Badger Mobile to transport it all the way here. Now then, you're coming with me. But it wasn't me! Sir, the killer, sir! It wasn't me, sir! Agent Lane, wait. Hmm? What do you want now? We still don't know where the real scene of the crime is. You can't say we know all the facts of this case, let alone the truth. I told you! Truth schmoof! I couldn't care less. Our job is to catch the crook. You'll find out your precious truth after we arrest this guy and take him in. That's the job of you prosecutors in your fancy courts with your logic. As for us, we don't have that kind of time to waste. You borscht buffoon! I think you need to leave. What? We need to get the body to autopsy and you guys are getting in the way. You, you would interfere with another one of my investigations? Hey now, let's not forget who holds the actual authority to conduct investigations here. <clears throat> I'm afraid the one doing the interrupting is you, my ignorant little pretty boy. <laughs> now be a good fancy boy and get out of my sight. If you don't, I'll arrest you for obstruction of justice. Okay. To be continued. To be continued... Well, this guy's kind of a tool. Very much. <laughs> He's like, who cares if they're actually guilty or not? Just arrest him. <laughs> Leave it to the prosecutor. So Dwight from the office, better like like a thousand innocent men be locked up than one guilty man be allowed to go free. <laughs> it's wow. Going, no. <laughs> Anyhow, that's it for today, everybody. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. We might be going to Stadium Land. I think that's where we're going next. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Which has the Gavineer stage. That's true. I hope we see the Gavineers. We might not. <laughs> what if Darian Chris had this <laughs> I would love that. I would really, really love that, actually. Because it would add so much to that. Anyhow, we'll see what happens next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.